Chris, you got it. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culpeper Air Fest. My name is Chris Edwards with the Flying Circus in Bealton, Virginia, just a little bit up the road. Every Sunday, May through October, weather permitting, tomorrow's going to be a good day. You come on out and join us. This is one of the highlights of our shows. Flying the airplane. It's Chuck Tip in alignment by Rapid Hand Electric Company. And walking the wind today will be Joe Bender. Our wind walkers do not wear parachutes and do not use safety ropes. Watch as Joe will climb out of the cockpit on the next pass. That was a low flyby. You see how low it's going to be. That's a Stearman PT-17, primary trainer 17, 450 horsepower Pratt and Whitney radial engine. Nine cylinders, 985 cubic inches, variable pitch propeller. We reenact the way the wind walkers performed in the 20s and 30s. Watch as Joe climbs out and walks the wing. No safety rope, no parachute. There he is. Wave to him, everybody. He's on the end of the wing. <laughs> now, Joe Bender is also one of our great pilots of the Steermans. Flying Circus founded in Bealton, Virginia in 1970 by World War II pilots. And our first air show season was 1971. So next year will be our 50th of continuous air shows every Sunday, May through October. Now on this next pass, Joe will reenact the wing walking of the 20s and 30s by hanging underneath the wing by his feet and letting go with his hands. Wing walking came about at the end of World War I to entice people to come out and watch an air show. And then pay a dollar a ride to take a ride in a Curtis Jenny, JN4 or the American Standard, built in Patterson, New Jersey. Those were leftover trainers from World War I. And during the uh, 20s, there was a, a lot of barnstorming took place in the course of the 30s, was the Great Depression, and it was quite an escape for people to come out and, and watch an air show to get away from the daily grind of that Great Depression. Watch as now Joe hangs underneath this wing by his feet, no parachute, no safety rope, let him go with his hands. Now, by his feet, ladies and gentlemen. No parachute, no safety rope. Now sitting up into the wind at 70 miles an hour. Those of you who do morning, morning sit-ups, oof. You got to really push against that wind and use those abdominal muscles. And again, flying the airplane is Chuck Tippett. Finest friend the general aviation ever had. If you're looking for a pilot's license, a tailwheel endorsement, seaplane endorsement, instruction, Chuck Tippett will fix you up. Now Joe is going to position himself between the wings and fly like Superman. And on this kind of a hazy day, from the propeller. Most of the noise in a propeller airplane comes from the propeller. The tips of the prop are just about stalling out, maybe exceeding the speed of sound. Now watch as Joe flies like Superman between the wings. 
lying on top of the flying wires. Here he comes. Look, folks, between the wings, nothing holding him up. This no safety rope, no parachute. A complete reenactment, a very accurate reenactment of the way the wing walking was done in the 20s and 30s by the brave men and women back there. The term flying circus came about in World War I with Baron von Richthofen's garishly painted German fighters and the English and the Allied forces said, well, that looks like a flying circus up there. But then after World War I, flying circuses were formed all around the country. There were many of them. The Gates Flying Circus was one. And of course, up in Rhinebeck, New York, you'll find it a great show as well. What's like ours down here? On this next pass, Joe will be climbing up to the top wing. Now this airplane has a variable pitch propeller. And the way that works, a constant speed propeller works very much like an automatic transmission in your car. If you set the, cru the cruise control in your car, you're going to see the tachometer stay right at the same number. And the transmission will keep changing gears automatically to keep the speed of the airplane the same, the speed of the car the same. And the airplane works the same way by changing pitch of the propeller. There's Joe in the top wing, folks. Wave to him. in your car in second gear. So you watch as Chuck pushes that stick, I'll give you a control check, all right? You're sitting in the cockpit. Your right hand is on the control stick. Each foot is on a rudder pedal. You have two rudder pedals, left and right. Are you gonna lead a, an airplane just like you lead a, a, a motorcycle? It's called a bank. So we're gonna bank to the left, left rudder, left stick, right, and that's how you roll the airplane, that's how these pilots are flying. Throttle is in the left hand. We're gonna dive for the loop. Joe will be hanging by his feet. Watch, folks. 130 miles an hour, fully exposed to the wind. I'll be quiet for the video. There. This is what you see every Sunday, May through October, the Flying Circus gates open at 11 o'clock for airplane rides in these airplanes. And the show starts at 2.30. It could be different colors. You're going to see like the red arrows and groups like that have reds and blues by using different chemicals. There goes the chief pilot of American Airlines. He's in our air show every Sunday in one of these theorems. <laughs> Thought you were going to get away with that, didn't you, Kevin? Uh -huh. All right. Chuck will set up for landing and they'll taxi by here. You can wave to him and we'll see if uh, if Joe dismounts here or not. If not, then, but he'll be around for autographs, by the way. Do you want an autograph? Okay, you ready for that? All right, Brad.
I, I, okay, he's going to be landing. So you wave to him when he comes in. I guess Luke, it's back to you now at this point, right? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I was getting hand signals from over there from these guys. Now this is one more pass, looks like to me. Yeah, it's the handshaking pass. Do you have a telephoto lens? You will get the flag. There we go. Give the hand there, folks. United States flag, Joe Bender on the top wing. Chuck Tippett doing the flying. Come on out tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day, just like this. It won't be hot like it has been. Take a ride. Our rides are very, very affordable. Ride in an antique World War II biplane. These airplanes sold for $11,000 during the war. In today's money, it's about $186,000. But after the war, you can pick them up for nothing. $300, $200, $100. <laughs> and a lot of prop dusting operations were founded that way across the country. And this airplane was used as a prop duster after the war. We found it out in California. You say, well, have they all been rebuilt? Yes, all these old airplanes have been rebuilt. Handshaking pass. Telephoto work of the jumbo screen is, is fantastic. She's amazing. I think she deserves a raise. <laughs> the king is at the end. You want it, Luke? You got it, brother. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a nice round of applause if you will for the voice of the flying circus, Mr. Chris Edwards. These talented individuals keeping the history of golden age of aviation alive and well with their air shows almost every Sunday up in Bealton. You can check them out online at flyingcircusairshow.com. Now, the aircraft that just took off the North American B-51 Mustang. I want to take you back to World War II, and I want to take you back to the 1940s. Back then, the way to stay up to date with information from the front lines was to listen to the radio. And it was a tradition for many families uh, to join up in the parlor in the evenings, turn on the radio, and listen to the news. When those tubes on the inside warmed up just a little bit, this might have been a sound that you would have heard. You can have vegetables, lots of them on your table next winter.